one quadrillion, 360 trillion, and some change. This number is written like this in base 36. Yes, everyone's name is also a number in some base, of course. Let's check this out. In a past video, we learned that digits are usually expressed using letters when we go beyond base 10. And then we looked at some patterns with numbers from base 2 all the way up to base 36. Now we will use this information to see how our names are also numbers. I'm here in this notebook that I made, link in the description, where we were just playing around and looking at some patterns with numbers in higher bases. We put a number in decimal form at the top, and we can see in the table below how the number is expressed in all different bases from two to 36. And once we get past base 10, we know that more digits are needed for each base. So base 11, for example, needs 11 digits, base 12 needs 12, and so on. This goes all the way up to base 36, where all the letters in the alphabet are used. Let's plug in a larger number. We'll go with one quadrillion, and then take a look at what we see down below. We do indeed see some letters. Most of the numerals here look pretty random, but what if we could find a number that has all the letters needed and in the particular sequence needed to form our name? It should be possible. We just have to find the right number. I'm here now in another notebook that we used where we can change the base. Let's suppose that we're going to do a random search, brute force style. We're going to choose a random number in the quadrillions and we'll just move the base to see if we can find the numeral deep lizard. Okay, so we have a very large number, definitely in the quadrillions and let's just begin manually checking each base. No luck, everything so far looks pretty random. We'll check a few more bases to see if our luck changes. Boom, there it is, Deep Lizard. We just turned our luck around and found the numeral we were looking for. You can see in the table how each digit has a corresponding value that is based on the places that are powers of 36. Now, we obviously didn't just get lucky there in real time. So how did I get it? How did I find the right number? First, I'll show you how to do it in a notebook that I set up. Then I'll show you how to do it using code in the JavaScript console. <laughs> Come to me, my prey. I made this notebook, link in the description, where all you have to do is type in your name and the base 10 number will be displayed for each base. Let's do something common and shorter. We'll type in Jane. J-A-N-E, Jane, is the numeral in each of these bases, and the decimal number is just a decimal representation for each base. Now, some of them say they can't encode. Here's a challenge. Try to figure out why some numbers can't be represented. See if you can tell what the pattern is by typing in different letters. Props to the first person who can explain that bit in the comments. For the ones that do have a number in base 10, we just need to take the number and note the base. We'll grab the one for base 36, which looks to be about 900,000 and some change. Here on the other notebook, all we have to do is plug in the number and change the base to base 36, and we'll see Jane. In base 36, the number 900,266 is expressed using the numeral J-A-N-E. Check out this notebook and give this a try yourself. If you get it to work, put your decimal number in the comments. I wanna show you now how to find this value using the JavaScript console. To open the console, remember just hit F12 on your keyboard. The code the notebook is using looks like this. The word parse means to inspect the parts of the text, and the word int just means to inspect the text for an integer. If an integer is found, it will be returned. To figure out if the text represents a number, the base must also be supplied, so 36 in our case. We run this by clicking enter, and we get the 900,000 number. So this is the code that the notebook uses to do the conversions. Now, if you're following the data science playlist, there's one thing I wanna point out. If we remove the Jane text from the text box, 
You'll notice that the box says 10 characters or less. So what's up with this limitation? Well, if you think back to the video when we talked about numerical data, we learned that there are range constraints applied to numbers inside computers. This constraint of 10 characters is due to this type of range constraint. You see, if we type in 10 characters, each character is a digit whose value depends on the position of the digit and the base. As the base goes higher, the value each digit represents goes up and so fewer digits are required when compared with lower bases. Remember, this is one of the patterns we found in the Patterns with Numbers video. This means that the decimal form of the higher base number will be very large. When we get to 10 digits in a higher base number, the decimal form of the number is all the way up in the quadrillions. In JavaScript, the largest integer that can be represented is about nine quadrillion, and the piece of code that is doing the conversion from one base to another works with integers. Integers. That code, the number.parseInt code that we saw before, can't handle numbers larger than 9 quadrillion. So I restricted the text box to 10 characters. To do more, we'd have to come up with another solution. This is the type of thing we can run into sometimes. So keep this in mind, range constraints, and keep up the hard work, and I'll see you in the next one.